My little sister just told me that our parents said that they regret having her. I 20 meters have a younger sister 6F and she always hangs out with me whenever I'm home. Yesterday I was playing video games and she walks into my room crying. I ask her what's wrong and she said that our parents just told her that they regret having her. I confront my parents about it and they said that they find her extremely annoying and that if they knew that she would be like this they have aborted her. The part that pisses me off the most is that the reason they think she is annoying is that she is mentally slow and often doesn't understand certain things. We got into an argument and afterwards my sister wouldn't leave my side. They want me moved out within two months but I don't know how my sister will handle not having me around to comfort her. I've been extremely worried about leaving her due to the way she gets treated, what should I do? Something's wrong with your parents to say that to a six-year-old. Do you have some close relatives to talk to? If you move out can you reside nearby? Your parents may be willing to let your sister visit often or spend the weekend. Children can grow up fine even if there's just one person who cares about them and makes them feel loved. I would contact CPS to be honest. She's being verbally abused and her special needs are more than likely not being tended to properly. She deserves better. OMG that's so fucked up. I am so sorry for your sister. Take her with you. Can sibling get custody of younger siblings? Dot. Do that. Have you considered taking her with you when you move out becoming her guardian? Seeing how they don't care about her nearly at all, besides feeding and housing her, then they probably wouldn't argue to that. Your parents are verbally abusing a six-year-old and could probably get in trouble with the police over this. You have two months. I don't know how you should handle this but you have two months to collect recordings, keep a journal of what they are doing and any other evidence of their neglect, abuse. Do not let on what you are up to. This way whatever the future holds for you and your sister you will have the proof you need to deal with this. Edit, apparently depending on where you live this may not be legal, op if you see this, check first. And best of luck to you however it goes. Your parents are verbally abusing her. They sound like rotten people and I hope no one takes care of them when they are old and feeble. That said, please contact CPS or your sister's school administrators to let them know what your parents are doing. And hats off to you for being a caring, loving big brother in spite of your parents. Do they normally have that attitude towards her? If you have a decent job you could try and become her guardian if you move out. Call CPS and anonymously ask some questions. Figure out if they could place her with other family or if they'd be willing to place her with you, or allow you to supervise visits. She's not safe where she is. If parents are bold enough to say that stuff to her and your face, imagine what will happen if you leave her with them alone. Help this wonderful little girl have a beautiful life full of love, and leave the trash where it belongs. First of all, you're a good brother. Second of all, your parents are POS. Third of all, she's six. Kids her age have a right to be annoying. That's what they do. You might be able to get custody of her when you move out. I'm not 100% sure, I would go to our, legal advice, but if you get custody they would have to pay you for her care. As someone who was treated like your younger sister, save her the years of trauma and get her the fuck out of there. This broke my heart. Made me cry at my desk. She doesn't deserve this. That's all I can say. If you aren't able to change her living situation, you can at least have her come visit and stay with you on weekends. Be a positive, affirming role model in her life. Abuse. Get her the fuck out of there. I mean are all of these fake or what? Honestly CPS never helped my family the way they should have, and through personal experience if you can avoid CPS you should. If you think you can take care of your sister, try moving out with her. You can get extra help from the school and community organizations. You'll probably qualify for food stamps and more. The only issue I can think of is her needs. Depending on her level of care, both daily and her doctor's visits, your parents might be more suitable to keeping her on track with the doctors. If you could figure out a plan that works well enough for both you and your parents, potentially you could take care of her while also having your parents take her to the doctor's office and such. Good luck friend. Op, you need to comfort her and tell her that you are her pay that she's in your life. You need to look after her well-being, because your shush one t parents may not be as invested in it. Please look after her. I know that's a lot to suggest, but at this point it looks like you are the only family that seems to be invested in her well-being. 
Actually I am working on getting custody of my little sister for similar reasons. In some states if you take guardianship of a child that is not yours the parents have to pay a stipend. I would look into that if it's financially possible. Call CPS. That's verbal abuse. Special needs children are often abused and rarely reported. Report them. Trying to push you out makes me worry about the potential for physical abuse if she displeases them. If you feel up to it, try for custody. Maybe look for a local Special Olympics coach to get her enrolled in an activity with other kids with needs. It would give her another adult to confide in if you aren't around. Edit to add that you need to contact her teachers. I worked in special education for years. I called CPS on parents who were abusive. They need to know and will keep tabule shit on her. Let her know that you trust her teachers and she can talk to them. Several kids didn't trust us at first but would open up when they warmed up to us. It's horrifying what they would go through because they were told that teachers were scary or mean. She needs to know that teachers want her happy and safe just like you. Yeah this definitely didn't happen. Fake. Poor baby girl, they are disgusting. Contact CPS and let them know she's being neglected by your parents. You're her only advocate. Don't let them abuse her. You need to protect her. This sounds really fishy and fake. Try recording some of the conversations. There are some necklaces online for kids that have recording devices hidden in them. Evidence is key in these circumstances especially when it's verbal abuse. You could also get a nanny cam but that could be extreme. I have past experience advocating for youth and it is extremely difficult to prove without evidence. Parents deny everything or downplay it and then the system gets stonewalled. Usually things at home get worse in my personal experience living in an abusive home for most of my life. You have two months to collect everything you can. And that will be your best chance at successfully advocating for your kid sister. The system will see and hear it firsthand and the parents cannot deny the abuse then. For real action and change this is the best method of advocacy in my personal opinion. Honestly, your parents suck. As her older sibling, you can stand up for her, but you can also call CPS or a teacher. It sounds kinda made up but there are some crazy people in the world. If your parents really said that, not a version of that you stretched but they really said that then they are not loving parents. They do not love you or your sister. My best advice is to find someone who does. Preferably a relative or someone you trust. You might be twisting this or making this up in which I ask you to reconsider and make sure you parents do 100% mean what they said. You don't want to do something drastic unless you 100% need to. You should break up ASAP. Are you sure you're not the slow one and just making a post for attention? I would call CPS and then try to get custody of your sister. This has to be fake. They are huge assholes. Do what you can to help your sister but I'd be absolutely vicious towards your parents. Verbally abuse them and give them a little bit of what they've been dishing at a six-year-old. I would be absolutely despicable to them. Who tells their child they wish they aborted them? Vile creatures. Fight them on every front and in every way. Make their lives misery and teach them respect. Wear them down until they feel the age creep into their bones. Destroy them king. As for good advice, call around and see what you can do. Do you have grandparents who would be better? Probably considering they didn't abort your parents. I know you're just getting on your feet and all, and taking custody would be rough, but, dude. Consider it. This has got to be fake. Can you take your sister with you? If they find her so annoying, and if you can afford if, take her with you. If they're that bothered by her I doubt they'd care. And if they do, look into taking her from them. That's mental abuse and will scar her for life if allowed to continue. Play your cards wisely op, don't jump the gun for CPS. If you earn enough take her with you, regardless of what your parents AAY. I agree that you need to bring CPS into this. Telling a child that they regret having her and should have aborted her is in itself abuse. Damn it that infuriates me. The damage that will do to that baby girl can never be undone. Please 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 right now call CPS. I don't even want to think about what they would do to her alone. Please get her help. Do it now. And please keep us up to date. God bless that little angel. And you too. Dude, GTFO of there and bring your sister. It won't be easy, but it's safer and better for the both of you because your parents are verbally abusive. This story reeks of bullshit. Wow, man, sorry but your parents sound like total fucktards. 
I think you should report it somewhere, really, as your sister may grow up in a very bad environment, they don't even know what's going on in their own house and I don't know what's in their heads but I'm worried that really not much. Either life got up to them, it was supposed to come out or they just snapped, but who says that to a child? To a child with serious health problems? Only the fucktards who cannot be grateful that they can even conceive a child or support themselves and children, but not mentally or emotionally as we can see and that is a bad deal. Think about it. Something bad is bound to happen with this combo of your parents and their mentality and your sister's needs. Maybe someone will just visit the house or they will have some homework to do or your sister gets taken away or they are fined, I really don't know but it's better than your sister's suffering. Do you have a trusted aunt or uncle family friend, someone to help? Taking in, as so many have suggested, is a noble idea, but it's an immense amount of work. Doctors. School. IEPs. Dentist. School supplies. Extra utilities, rent, food. Staying up late with nightmares and taking sick days when the flu hits. It's hard. I had my niece and nephew when I wasn't much older than you 22 my sister was on drugs and the 10 year was trying to take care of the 2 year old. They were 10 and 2. It was harder than having a newborn. I'd do it again in a heartbeat, but it is a lot. If there is other family you trust, please call them. This is 100% fake and you all gave this guy exactly what he wants. My youngest has behavioral and learning problems, and we worked with our local school district to get him evaluated, and he has what's called an IEP, which requires any entity that works with him to provide extra help, whether it be his elementary school or his summer camp, and it has helped him and us tremendously. He also has regular therapy sessions. He's a great kid that just needs a little help. Your sister sounds a lot like that. On the flip side, if she's already traumatized by hateful parents, that could be impacting her ability to learn, as well. And maybe your folks need therapy? Frankly, they sound awful. Either way, it seems like something in this situation needs to change. Maybe some of my above information can help. Am I the only one not believing this story? Not trying to be a dick. But they just randomly, out of nowhere told her they didn't want to have her? And they told you that if they knew how annoying she was they would have had an abortion? I can't help your situation but I really really wish I could. If these past few years hadn't been so horrible on my pocket I'd literally donate to you so you could find an apartment or lawyer. Call CPS. File an abuse report. CPS. I would see if you could work something out with them. My mother after I graduated from grad school pretty much said, it's a good thing we didn't abort you, people were telling me to have an abortion and look at you now. Dot. I've since went no contact with my mother, and now my father, and I feel completely better. I honestly think that you should work with CPS to find a better place for your sister since your parents are emotionally abusing her and she's just an innocent six-year-old. Is this for real? Because I cannot imagine anyone telling a six-year-old something like this. If you can prove to CPS that she is being verbally, physically abused, you should be able to petition the courts for custody. Sounds fake. 